This week's video is going to be on the homeless situation in Venice Beach. Sorry for the shaky close-up there. Um, this is when we are first arriving. Uh, for those of you who may have missed it, last week I posted a video on the homeless situation in downtown LA. So be sure to check that out if you like. Um, sad to say that the homeless situation in Venice Beach has gotten just as bad as downtown. I mean, here, as we're pulling in, the I mean, the first thing that you notice, especially if you're an out-of-towner, is all the homeless people lined up in the tents on the boardwalk. It's impossible not to notice. Which... I mean, this is really surprising to me because it is such a heavy tourist area that is really starting to look like a dump. I mean, it smells really bad, too. When I was there, it, it smelled like a mixture of bleach and marijuana. It was kind of giving me a headache. I just can't tell you how amazed I am at the amount of people we saw living in tents here. And what I find even crazier is that some of them, as you can see here, are outside of beachfront property. I mean, <laughs> the people who bought them paid millions of dollars so that they could get a view of the beach and homeless people. I, I walked by some listings that were posted, and they're still charging ungodly amounts for these properties, right? And you know what, speaking of expensive properties, I've been thinking a lot about the comments people left on last week's video of the homeless situation in LA, right? And a lot of people had different ideas of why it is that there is such a vast amount of homelessness in the LA, California area. Some said that the homeless are attracted to California because of the various social programs Others blamed the Democratic Party as the root of this problem. Others mentioned that this is not a socialist country and that uh, people should not expect handouts or for the government to take care of them. But nobody mentioned the ungodly cost of living price that L.A. has. Now I understand. There are celebrities here, various rich people, businessmen, you name it. And that drives up the cost of everything. But what about the regular people working regular jobs? You can't afford to live by yourself in L.A. with a $15 minimum wage. And it's not just college kids working those kinds of jobs. I mean, you have to have older, dependable adults that work at gas stations or stores, you know, etc. I mean, let's face it, if a city can't function with only rich people. There has to be people working regular jobs or else who would wait on all these rich people? There are just so many people living paycheck to paycheck in this city. And I'm sure that some of these people that are homeless, one paycheck missed, one thing that happened to them, and they might have lost everything because of it. Small side note, I think those Transformer robots are amazing. And there's still a lot of cool things to be seen at Venice Beach. But having so many homeless people there really does kind of put a damper on things. But I'll let you continue to take a look for yourself.
exactly what I mean when I say that there's still cool things to see in Venice Beach. I mean, look at that. That is so awesome. I did not even think that was possible. There's also some really cool vendors like this gal coming up here. She had a lot of really cool, I guess, posters, artwork that I really thought was really nice. If you were to be interested in Gangster Einstein, he was $100. I'll make a way from these misconceptions. henna tattoo place that german in venice has i don't know if any of you watch his youtube channel but he also is helping bring awareness to these homeless situations and he's actually done a few interviews if you might want to go check those out on his channel <music> decided to take a drive over to the Gold's Gym, known to be the mecca of bodybuilding back in the day. And here we have another giant tent. I wonder where they get this. Um, but yeah, so we decided to go stop by there just to take a look and see. And we ran into more homeless people. Crazy. Just crazy how many there are. 
Yeah, this whole street was just kind of lined. This was only about four-ish minutes away from Venice Beach. We got here pretty fast. When I look up to you with a smile on my face, I'm in love me on to a bright There's not everybody's on the street because of good reasons. Some people, alcohol, drugs, or what have you. But there's a lot of people that just fell on hard times that ended up like this. And it's kind of hard to come out of a situation like this once you're in it. Yeah, but they want, to, they want you to believe that they care about you, but they don't do shit for the homeless, right? Exactly. There's they nobody want... out here trying to help them. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And... I know that I'm only one person, but hopefully we can all find a solution together for this.